Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. And this is a Doctor Who book review of the unofficial Doctor Who, The Big Book of Lists by Cameron K. McEwen, creator of Blog Tour Who, and illustrated by Andrew Skilleter. So I was sent this free to review. So this is the letter I got with my review copy. I'll read out the letter. Now it's by Race Point Publishing and the official release date is 7th of May 2015. It'll be in all good bookshops. Uh, the recommended retail price is £12.99 and it's paperback. So this is the blurb in the letter I got with my free copy. Who was the tallest doctor? Which doctor used a champagne bottle as a weapon? How many uses are there for a sonic screwdriver? Unofficial Doctor Who, the big book of lists, answers these questions and many more. Cameron K. McEwen, the man behind Blog Tour Who and author of The Who's Who of Doctor Who, is back with a book that compiles thousands of fun facts, little known trivia and curious miscellany about everyone's favourite Doctor. Organised by theme, unofficial Doctor Who, the big book of lists, features 100 lists to test the knowledge of even the most dedicated Whovian, covering 50 years of the epic series. Inside, readers will discover lists detailing Doctor Who film references, doppelgangers and Doctor Who, weirdest TARDIS dematerialisation. De Shall we try that again? Weirdest TARDIS dematerializations, regeneration stories, Gallifrey adventures, highest and lowest rated TV episodes. Accompanied by the incredible artwork of Andrew Skilleter and loaded with weird and interesting facts and quizzes, this is the perfect book for any fan of the Doctor. And there's a little bi biography of the con the author and illustrator, about the contributors. Cameron K. McEwen is the man behind Blog Tour Who, www.blogtourwho.com, a fan site dedicated to Doctor Who. Started in 2008, Blog Tour Who is now one of the most popular Doctor Who blogs in the world, on some days receiving over 80,000 page views with nearly thick with nearly 50,000 followers on Twitter. Cameron makes appearances at conventions across Europe, hosting panels and interviews with Doctor Who personalities in front of and behind the camera, including Matt Smith, Stephen Moffat, Mark Gatiss and Murray Gold. He also makes the odd television appearance on the BBC and in the United States. Cameron also writes for websites including Den of Geek, Cultbot, and Metro and is a regular entertainment contributor for BBC London. Andrew Skilleter is an English illustrator best known for his professional association with Doctor Who between 1979 and 1995. He has illustrated hundreds of covers across numerous genres and media including books, DVDs, calendars and magazines. He also wrote and illustrated Blacklight, the Doctor Who art of Andrew Skilleter. So that's the letter I got with the book. So let's on to the book. And I have to say, when I first got the book and I first opened it, I was ecstatic because it is so beautiful and amazing. So this is the cover. And it is a beautiful cover with Peter Capaldi and a big list held by David Tennant and Matt Smith and it goes into the TARDIS because it's that long a list and this is the back of the book thousands of fun facts for even the most dedicated of Whovians can you guess which companion has gotten the most airtime over the years which doctor is the tallest and which one is the shortest true or false Darth Vader has made an appearance on Doctor Who which doctor used a champagne bottle as a weapon and then later threatened someone else with brandy? Blog Tour Who is known for his popular lists 
and this book contains thousands of fun facts, little known trivia bits and curious miscellany about everyone's favourite doctor. Featuring 100 fascinating lists, including popular top 10 lists and one from Murray Gold, the BAFTA winning English composer for Doctor Who. This is the perfect gift for the Whovian in your life. Organised by theme, the lists cover everything over the past 50 plus years of Doctor Who, including doppelgangers, popular locales, regenerations, Gallifrey adventures, highest rated episodes, alternative uses for the sonic screwdriver and loads more, accompanied by stunning new artwork from popular Doctor Who artist Andrew Skilleter, this is one collection you won't want to miss, and even if you get it just for the pictures, it's totally worth getting because there's some amazing artwork in here. So the inner is orange. It's always good to know. And then there's we have the title page. Let us show you. Let's get to the start of the book. So here we have a letter from Cameron and a beautiful picture of Pete Quality, and it looks gorgeous. They both look gorgeous, basically. And then each bit is divided into sections. The first section is characters and companions. And we have artwork of Patrick Troughton and then the TARDIS with the section heading on. The first list is the appearances of the Queen in the show. And we have funny quotes. Funny things the Daleks say, and a Dalek that looks, I think it looks a bit Hello Kitty-ish, because he's got big sunglasses and a little hat at an angle. I don't know if that's intentional, but he does look like a Hello Kitty Dalek, and it's really cute. The next one, West, is Another Girl, Another Planet, all about his companions who were not from Earth. And there's a beautiful picture of Romana one. And then here's all the famous people the doctors met and it's called excuse me did you drop something because it's all about his name dropping and then we have all about when the red doppelgangers of characters doctors fellow scientists and there's a beautiful picture of Malachi. Who's Who of Daleks, all about the different types of Dalek that have appeared. And then there's this awesome, oh, is that, that's a special weapons Dalek, it looks awesome. That's so cool. Then we have the 10 most featured companions. And then we have this lovely picture of Jamie. Jamie McGrimmon. Grimmon, yes. Unseen characters. I'm not quite sure who that is actually, but it was a really pretty big job. Bit awesome. And then the next section is production. We have 10 Doctor Who references and tortured, and that's a really cool picture of Jack. I really like all the texture on his outfit. And it says Boot Saxon and it's got Bad Wolf graffiti over the poster. So that's really cool. And the next list is 50 things to note when re-watching The Day of the Doctor. So really interesting things that you can find in Day of the Doctor. And then there's this amazing picture. Look at that, it's amazing. So it's got like all the doctors all in picture frames in the saga and there's Sean Baker as a curator. Cool. And then all the bits that and then the TV. And this is Bad Wolf and the TV with the original titles on. And then all the the things they uh, I, I don't know if that there's a number there. I don't was that the number that was meant to be like the doctor's phone number or something? I don't know. And then there's the both songs, red shoes, and the blue watts and everything, and it's really cool. And then we have a cool picture of a Cyberman. Seven classic series in jokes. Then we have that picture 
which is awesome. I have a picture of Dalek. Seven new series and jokes, and then we've got a picture of David Tennant in the customer scene. Are you my mummy? Actors who appear in classic and new here. And then we've got this really interesting artwork of Sarah Jean. And she's got a cute outfit on. It says, Doctor, I knew you'd come. And then on that side of her head is Tom Baker. And on the other side of her head is Matt Smith. So that's really interesting. Ten world, hang on, let's get one of them now. Ten world landmarks featured in Doctor Who. Then all about the extra scenes that you can get on the DVDs. Doctor Who's international filming locations, London landmarks. And then we've got a lovely picture of um, Big Ben. It's really pretty. Stories with Doctor in the title. Time in a title. And then we've got this really cool sort of Tardisy um, hourglass, which looks awesome. They should merchandise that, I think. That's really cool. Now, terrible titles of deer. And then there's a picture of a TV with vortex in it. The United States and the Doctor. Then there's this oh, there's a picture of Marilyn with Matt Smith. That's so cool. Where are they now? Life after classic who? And then a lovely picture of the Eighth Doctor and, uh, Where are they now? Life After New Who and Peter Capaldi is in this thing He's still here, he's still on the show filming Yay! See it in the beautiful artwork of Peter Capaldi Seven pieces of Moby Gold See this is the list of his favourite pieces of his music so that's really cool the next section is by the numbers and we have a picture of Tom Baker so we have top 20 stories by UK audience ratings bottom 20 stories by or UK audience ratings longest episode Longest storylines, and we have the key to time with the TARDIS flying around it. See, that's cool. Popularity of the Doctors, percentage of the Daleks, of that char. Doctors' first and last episodes, the Doctor's highs and lows, the best and worst performing single episodes for each Doctor. The time of the Doctor showing the screen times of the actors who have played the Doctor. Time of the writers and a picture of hand with panty pen. The age of the Doctors and Sylvester McCoy. This is really cool. It's the height of the Doctor, so that's really useful. Then we've got the next section is pop culture, and we've got a lovely picture of Matt Smith. So, five times when the Doctor changed history. So, the, the hands rewriting time. Six times the Doctor predicted the future, and now we have a big picture of the hourglass. Fifteen things people did in the wilderness year. So this one less. Then we've got a TV of uh, the question mark from Sylvester McCoy's umbrella. Actors who have been in both Star Wars and Doctor Who. That's that. I have a picture, a real cool picture of Boba Fett. That is awesome. Agatha Christie stories referenced in the Unicorn and the Wasp. Uh, 
and then there's this really cool artwork look it's like a book cover and it's got ten it's oh I, I don't know how to describe it it's just amazing so that's really cool then we've got cameos famous people who've cameoed in Doctor Who pop songs in classic Who pop songs in new Who now look, our Steve Bowie. That is awesome. It's a star man waiting in the sky. Ooh. Now there's the door to his that is cool. Films that feature Doctor Who stars and there's Jenna from Captain America. That's so cute. And then we've got a little film strip. With the TARDIS on. Doctor Who stars who appeared in the Batman films. Now, this is a cool picture. Celestial Toy Maker. Oh, is no. Yeah, Celestial Toy Maker. Um, that's. I've forgotten. So, yeah, that was a really cool picture. Real people and the doctor. So the so all the politicians and people he's met. And a little bit of bow tie. It's really cute. It's not stealing. It's an homage. So the times when Doctor Who has. Him referenced other genres and then we've got a real cool picture of the Doctor, the Widow and the Wardrobe Art it's really cool TV shows that Doctor Who references this list is called That Does Not Compute it's all about the computer games that came out. This is real cool list. The Doctor is coming. It's all about which actors have been in Doctor Who and Game of Thrones. And there's this really awesome Game of Thrones artwork. So, so it's even got like artwork from like Star Wars in Game of Thrones. So just. So this is just brilliant for anybody really. And then we've got Winston Churchill. TV shows that reference Doctor Who. And the next section is storylines. So nine underappreciated new Doctor Who stories. And then we've got this called Pitch Post with the the flag on, and then it's got the the, the um, army darling. See so that looks cool. For whom the bell tolls about when the cluster bell the sorry about when the cluster bell has sounded in which episodes? Ten kisses from the doctor. And then that is a, a river song and Matt Smith's Doctor kissing. Oh. Uh, I'm not really a fan of river songs. That's a cute picture. Then uh, you've got some lip prints. 13 non Dalek stories featuring Daleks. This list is a collection of tales that feature Scarrow's finest, but are not actually Dalek stories. 16 underappreciated classic Doctor Who stories. There are oh, Pete Davidson. <gasps> nice. That is nice. They've got alternate universes about times when it is we visited parallel worlds, divergent timelines and alternate universes. So then we have a Cyberman. Ah. 
that's the cyber leader in his chair. 50 years of firsts. And an awesome picture of Hartnell. And another picture of TARDIS. Dr. Braveheart, all about the Scottish doctors. About when Scotland has been on the show. We have a picture of Straxy. Yeah. Top 10 scary houses, and then there's this awesome blink artwork. And you've got Sally Sparrow, and there's West Drumlins, and then there's the Reef Angel. So that, that looks awesome. Then we've got Dino Time, when dinosaurs have been in Doctor Who. Look at this one, it's Reza. Oh, that's so cool, that's the dinosaur, and that's all the gears from the opening high horse. There, see? Oh, it looks gorgeous. And then we've got Doctor Who, when um, the phrase Doctor Who is actually used in the show. We have a picture of River Song. Far out, man. So this is a list of when he went really, really, really far, far in space and time. Home is where the hearts are. The There's a list of his adventures on his home world. Not so happy endings. Now I've got a picture of old Amy and there's young Amy looking through the sort of portal thing. Oh, that's oh, that's a cute picture. Then we've got um say goodbye about when he's at say goodbye to his companions. Now, I I'm gonna warn you now, if you're a Rose fan and if you're a Rose and Tan Shipper this picture might break your heart a little bit. But look. Oh, oh. Here we go. That is beautiful. Well, oh my gosh, the feels. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ten Doctor Who stories you might not know. So this is all about the... Um, the extra bits that they made and the animations too and the children in need specials and stuff and then we've got that picture of Tan badging that um, that spaceship he met that looked like a beard as you go where have I seen that face before and this is about when people have played um, more than one part in Doctor Who now we have a picture of, hang on, Jan, Jan Thor, Thor, yeah, Fritchie of Hair. Then we've got, that sounds nice, let's go there. But all the exotic locales he's um, mentioned but we haven't actually visited and there's this beautiful sort of panorama of really cool places and it's so pretty it's got all the colours and everything that's so cute that's pretty now we've got Welsh rabbit so there's all the stories that um, were set in Wales or ha had connection to Wales and there's Dalek who's booze and there's so about when the doctor when is um, mingled with the drink and there's Eccleston with the champagne bottle for Mickey then and there's a picture of the 11th doctor the next section is the Doctor and his toys. 
So nine fantastic things about the ninth doctor. He's awesome. Da, look at the pretty, pretty Eccleston. I love Eccleston. Ten brilliant things about the tenth doctor. And that's awesome. Oh, that's really cute. That's also a picture of Tannum. This is so, I love this book. It just gives me all oh, exciting tingles. Oh, I love it. Eleven lovely things about the eleventh doctor. Yeah. And then we have a beautiful picture of the eleventh doctor. Twelve things we love about the twelfth doctor. Top eleven other doctors. And that's the um, screen of the Shelker Doctor and the TARDIS. Fifteen things you never knew the Sonic did. This is a real cool picture, but look, it's like the Sonic is the Sonic itself is a spaceship above the Milky Way kind of thing. Look at that, that's so cool. Aliases of the Doctor, the Doctor's alternate names that he's used. Catchphrases. And then this really cute picture. Come along, Pond. That's so cute. I like that one. And a picture of the bow toy again. Dude, where's my TARDIS? Like, are these the adventures that didn't actually have the TARDIS in? And then we've got Matt Smith saying, Dude, where's my TARDIS? Ah, uh, that's so cute. Talking about regeneration. And um, the graph demonstrates which decades have had the most regeneration. And hats off, all about the different hats the Doctor's worn. So and then there's some there's really cute pictures of all of all of their different hats on. It's bigger on the inside. All about when characters have said that it's bigger on the inside. There's always awesome a picture of Donny in the uh, window and says bigger on the inside, that's so cool. I like Donna. Uh, rarely seen TARDIS rooms. And we've got sort of a red tone TARDIS. Seven unseen TARDIS rooms. The name's Smith, John Smith. So the times when he's called himself John Smith. Witty Little Knitter, The Uses of the Scarf, and then we have a picture of Tom Baker, Words and Relative Explanations in Space. Uh, this is all the uses of time and relative dimension in space. The next section is quiz time. And we have John Hurt, a picture of John Hurt. So this section is a quiz. So classic companions and friends first words. Can you guess which companions and friends of the Doctor uttered these first words? Between 1963 and 1989, we have um, we have to guess classic quotes. You have to identify the character and the story. And then we have another um, question mark umbrella thing. Famous last words classic who? Famous last words new who? New series quotes. New series companions and friends first words. The doctor's first words, the doctor's last words. Who said what? And then the last section, 
with this lovely purpley pink colour, which is awesome, is the answers to the quiz. Do I must get past because I want to do the quiz. Then we have the about the author, dedication, acknowledgements, and about the illustrator. And this is real cool. It says this painting doesn't belong here, not in this time or place. So that's a cool picture of the illustrator. And then we have an acknowledgement. Try that again. Then we have the acknowledgements and more orange. So I totally recommend this book. I could totally sneak it into a pub quiz. But it's awesome if the pictures are awesome and all the information is real cool. Especially if you only really start got into Doctor Who because of New Who, which I did. So there's loads of really cool, interesting information in here. So yeah, I just think it's awesome. And it's so pretty. And I totally recommend it. So thank you for watching. I was not paid to do this review and all my opinions are my own. Um, but I love this book. I, I definitely think you should add it to your collection and it's be an awesome present for any Doctor Who fan, especially any new Doctor Who fan. So all the information you could want in this book and it's amazing. And I do, I can't, I just could say amazing and fantastic again, because it's, it's fantastic, so yay. So I hope you have enjoyed this book review and thank you for watching. Yay.